out here today is a, a large-scale event that we put on, second time, this is our second annual, it's called Disaster Alley, and it's uh, meant to demonstrate and get, uh, allow the public to have a chance to come out and see all of the resources that are available that can uh, work together and coordinate in the event of a large-scale disaster in the City of Calgary. Disaster Alley is a free family event and proved fun for kids of all ages, getting to jump in fire trucks, police cars and ambulances. That's so much fun. We want the public to see the resources that we have and uh, you know, go home maybe at the end of the day feeling a little bit more assured about the fact there is a protective safety net in place in the City of Calgary that's pretty extensive, uh, done through 38 partner agencies and that uh, we're asking the public this year is prepare a plan. So one of the things we're hoping to do is some uh, education as people go through saying, you know, part of the responsibility for planning is yours as well. You need to know how to take care of yourself for the first little while in the event of a large scale emergency. In addition to numerous fire engines, the City Police TAC team and K-9 units were both at the event, proving a big hit with the crowds. Everyone loves the dog. Yeah, they, they seem to draw the attention of, of everyone and uh, world's best partner and yeah, it's, it's no surprise that people love to see the dogs. Uh, my favorite thing today here was probably the SWAT with the robots and the guns. It was cool. I like the EMS. That was fun too. The fire trucks were cool to go into. I like that. The event held up to its billing. A fun family day and an educational experience for everyone. For Sun News, this is Stuart Dryden reporting.